Hello, hello, hello. All right, what are I doing? Okay. Wait for a few people to get in. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Hey, Latifa. Hey, Dina. Denea. I hope I pronounced your name right. Hey, JJ. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Hey, Santana. Oh, Santana, long time no see. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Wait for a few more people to get in before we start. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Hey, Ramona. Hey, Future. Oh, congratulations, Future Doc Quinn. Congratulations. Let us know how it goes. Hey, what's going on? Sashelle, happy Sunday, everyone. Markeisha. Oh, that's okay, Tanya. I hope you... Um, hello, Melly. I am doing fine. Hola, como estas? Um... Tanya, um, that is totally fine. We know you guys won't be able to catch Hey K Life every live that we do. Um, again, yesterday was just to introduce John, and thank you, uh, Dania, so much for sharing. And um, hey to Kenya, and to just get you familiar with him. As I said in the video yesterday, I didn't want to just spring him on you in December. And hey, Kalina, um, so I, I just wanted to do an introduction and kind of, <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Um, and get just uh, give you guys a brief introduction. Uh, okay. Oh, you, thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Um, and just give a brief introduction of who he is and what services he can offer he can offer. Like I said, he is very knowledgeable and he um, is a great educator when it comes to the world of tax preparation. So um, that was, and I, I felt it was a good um, conversation and a good segue. Hello, Moonshine. Um, Lund, uh, when we start talking about the taxes in December and we want to do it in December because that's when everybody starts preparing um, for tax season and, you know, make sure you guys have everything together that you need. Um, and he can definitely help you with that. So thank you guys who joined us yesterday. Um, thank you for all your questions. We really appreciated it. Um, he really was um, amazed at um, the work we're doing here. Um, no, Tanya, I'm going to try to, um, we're going to try to narrow it down between this month and next month. And I probably, I want to give you guys a month's notice so you can, um, you know, get your questions together. Or um, if you want to use him for tax preparation, we're going to uh, do some things, um, try to get some, you know, maybe uh, specials going on where, you know, if you use our code or whatever, you get a percentage off your preparation, something like that. So we haven't ironed out all the details yet, but we are going to be in talks with him um, over the next month. And then we'll give you a date um, probably around the 1st of November, hopefully. Um, so we'll have something concrete. I hope everybody had a great Sunday. Um, for those of you who are new, I am TNG. Carol is in the comments. Together, we are two chicks with a side hustle where we post work at home jobs, side gigs, and side hustles. Um, and we also do these lives to help you get started on your work from home journey if you are new to working from home. If you are not new to working from home, we help you maximize your time and your money. Um, as always, I like to answer questions first. So if you have any questions regarding any work from home jobs um, that have been posted across any of our social media channels or our blog, you are welcome to put them in the chat. Um, also, um, if you have any questions in general regarding work from home, where do I get started? How do I get started? Please put them in the chat. If you are new and you want to say hi, Kim, thank you so much for sharing. Um, 
you know, that's fine. Um, we are here to educate regarding work from home. So don't be afraid to ask any questions. Um, there's no questions that, you know, if we've answered it, we will be happy to answer it again. Um, people are, we are on here to educate people regarding work from home. And then we do have three non-phone positions that we'll uh, get to. So um, put your questions in the chat and we will answer it. Oh, okay, Tanya. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you guys in, um, I'm, I'm going to try to get a month ahead so you guys can plan to be on the live. And again, he gave his email. And if you have any questions um, that you need answered right away, or if you want to just, um, <coughs> you know, send him any thing you want to know, he will be happy to answer the emails. Um, he did give his email out on the live yesterday. So he it will welcome the emails. Um, like I said, he is a tax preparer. He's been doing taxes for over 20 years. And the thing I like about him is he just um, he doesn't just do your taxes. He explains and gives you um, recommendations and it helps you really understand those tax codes and laws that apply to your certain situation. So that is why I really like him. Um, like I said, he did our taxes for years and he's really an educator when it comes to the, uh, the tax laws and things like that and how things can benefit you and not just basically do your taxes and this is what you'll get for a refund. So um, that is why I like John. And he, like he said, he's very knowledgeable in the tax codes and things that apply to 1099 and business owners. And even if you're a W-2 employee and you work from home, he does have different things that you can do um, as far as uh, credits and expenses that can, you know, spend down your taxable income. So, you know, and he explained that yesterday. Um, I always told y'all I am not a tax preparer. So that is why we invited him on. So thank you guys so much for welcoming him. He was really excited. Um, when we got off, he was really excited. So um, I think it kind of, you guys kind of inspired him to do more um, with the education of people and tax preparation and maybe start a YouTube channel himself talking about things that people can do to, um, you know, on their taxes. So we will see where that leads him. Um, so, yeah. So do we have any questions? Oh, thank you guys for sharing. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we got back today a little bit after noon. So I oh, had a great time visiting my nephews. I was so excited to see them as they were excited to see me. So, um, Yep. So hope you guys had a lovely weekend and I hope you um, have a great week. We are off fall break now, so we will be going back to school tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Angie, he will help you get the most uh, refund for uh, your situation. He's not. Um, he really deep delves down into your particular situation and how he can get you the most, the maximum refund amount. So that is what he does. And, you know, he's not like the big box companies where there are tons of people and they just give you a simple return. He actually does his research. He talks to you about, you know, your situation, about what, you know, things that you have, you know, especially with 1099 and um, business, people who own their own businesses. He basically tries to understand what, you know, what you do, your situation, so he can apply the correct codes to your situation. So he just doesn't, you know, get your paperwork, you, he gives it to you, and then you get it back, and this is your refund. He actually has conversations with you, and since, um, you know, uh, we've done it over the phone um, for years, we've done hours over the phone, and we'll send him the information and he will send, you know, he will call us and we'll run through um, different scenarios and we figure out which one works best for us. So um, he's really great. Like I say, he's really knowledgeable. And that is what I like about him. And every year he preps on the tax codes. So, um, so yeah. 
So he's not that one that, you know, you give him the paperwork and he gives it back. No, he's not. That's not him. He really uh, dives into your situation and uh, tries to understand what's going on and tries to, to do the best for you. And then after um, he provides after support also. So, yeah. Um, no, I don't, Tanya, but I do a lot of times. Um, this uh, screen I have now is kind of large, so I can just split my screen in half. Um, but I have in the past used two or three screens. I use two at work myself. Yeah. Oh, so You don't, what type of monitors? You're welcome, Angie. Uh, what type of monitors? Do you have HDMI monitors, Tanya? Okay, so all you need is a HDMI adapter for your laptop. If your laptop does not have HDMI adapters, you can buy a USB to HDMI adapter. And hey, Leland, um, and um, put those in your computer, and then your computer will recognize those HDMI monitors from those US, USB connections. You don't need a docking station. You don't need a docking station. Yeah, you know he, then yeah, he did, he does. Um, and we were talking about that. Um, we were talking about that. And he's, um, do you? Yeah, you don't have to mirror them. What it's called is, hey, Teresa, it's called extending your monitor. So you don't want to mirror. Mirror is you're getting the same picture on each monitor. What you want to do is create an extension. So you will be extending your monitors. And I don't know how to do that on Windows 10. I know you can just right click on your desktop and it will give you that option. Well, that's the way he used to do it, but I don't, I don't remember. I, and it may do it now, Tanya. Hold on, let me see um, if I can. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, so you just right click, Tanya, and it will allow you to extend. You have to go. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you on Windows or Mac? Oh, okay. Hold on, Tanya. Let me see if I can find you on an Amazon real quick. Mm. Hold on. Let me see if I can find you. And it just depends on your... Comp this is, well, they have some cheaper ones, Tanya, um, but this is something like what you'll need. Oh, okay. Yeah, we know what it is, Latifa. Okay, well, congratulations. Congratulations, Latifa. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Hey, Jan Selection. Oh, okay. Do you have the dongle that they sent you um, for the wireless keyboard and mouse? Hold on, let me find my Hey, Jan. Um, let me find a dongle. Hold on, Tanya. Uh, okay. Tanya, did they do you have this for your uh wireless keyboard and mouse or is it Bluetooth? It just depends. Did they give you a dongle? This is what this is called. Or did they give you a Bluetooth? Okay, you got a dongle. Um, it can just, if you have US, are you, are you lacking USB ports on your laptop? Is that what you're saying? Is your, are you lacking them? You need more than <laughs> you have. Now, I will tell you this. If you have, okay. If you have, you need to plug this directly into your, laptop um, because if you don't, it will be a delay. Now you can get a, um, 
lack in the word, you can get an extension or, you know, you can, you know, get a, uh, uh, a USB extension, but it will cause a delay in your typing and in your uh, monitor. I have that, um, yeah, USB extender. But when you um, do an extender on, on these, it will, it's a delay. It is a delay. So it needs to be plugged directly into your uh, laptop. If at all possible. If at all possible, it needs to be plugged in. And you can get a... Um, hold on. You can get... A, The, I was trying to find the um, one with two. Oh, oh, it's not enough. Okay. I was trying to find, they have um, the USB to HDMI with the two HDMI things, but I can't find it right now at this point. Um, yeah, hold on. But what I will say, Latifa, it does cost the here. Here it goes. Um, oh, that's a UC. Hold on. Um, darn. Let me find one with the dual HDMI. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Uh, just trying to find her what she needs. Okay. And this one is kind of expensive, but maybe you can go on um, Amazon and find a cheaper one, Tanya. But that is a dual one where you can just use one USB port and the dual HDMI so you won't have to buy two. So, yeah. But that one's $66. I'm sure they have something else a little bit cheaper. Oh yeah, yeah, $200 docking station. That is not good business, but yeah. I'm sure you can find something a little bit. Is that UBC? Yeah, that's for Mac. And Tanya, you can even find um, where they'll have one extender with several different options. Like it'll have two HDMIs, another USB, and things like that. It'll be a pet, um, one, one extender with several different options. So um, the ones I'm saying now are for Macs. But you search Amazon, I'm sure. Oh, here's, well, that's UBC. Um, search Amazon, and I'm sure you'll find something that meets your needs. Any more questions? Hey, Lenore. I'm sorry, y'all, if I if people came in and I didn't say anything. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, I am going to hopefully um, have a great week. I'm going to have a great week. I will say that. I am going to have a great week. Did anybody do anything exciting this weekend? I did get to go see my nephew. So that was exciting for me. Um, I was happy to see them as they were happy to see me. And, you know, when you bring goodies, they are always happy. So, yeah. And I got to see my brother and my sister and my brother-in-law. Yeah, I got to go. And uh, my sister-in-law and... um. My um, sister-in-law's mother and father. So it was always, it's always good to see them. And we hung out and had dinner and um, I got to hang out with my sister and we chatted and yeah. So it's always good. It's always good to see family. So I was happy. I had to see my brother. And I saw my sister. Um, she came to the airport when we passed through Chicago 
a month ago. I hadn't seen her for well, about a month ago. Um, it takes us about about seven hours, Teresa. Um, when we, yeah, about seven, seven to eight hours. It depends on how long we stop, you know, um, the stop. So, yeah, it's, it's about a seven hour trip. Oh, okay. Markeisha, I'm glad you got the rest you needed. I, we were so busy, you know, trying to see everyone. And um, my sister actually lives in the city and my um, brother and, and sister-in-law and their family live south. And then um, my husband's friend lives west. So we were going, oh, craziness. Then we had to, so it was just a whole production, but yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I, I was, um, I hadn't seen my brother. I, like I said, I seen my sister for a few minutes when we flew through Chicago, um, probably in August. And it was just for a few minutes. I saw her. I hadn't seen both of them since the pandemic. And I, my, my sister usually comes down pretty regularly, but um, she hadn't been coming down. And uh, my brother, he would come on holidays. So um we did get to uh, chat and my mom, she didn't go, of course. She is, you know, she put the pandemic, she didn't want to travel. So um, it was good to see everyone. Cause like I said, we hadn't seen, and we usually see my nephews a couple of times a year, um, you know, a couple of times a year or so. Uh, and we hadn't got to see them at all this year. So they had gotten so big and, um, they got to play with my boys. So we we're trying to uh, get them together and this summer and try to keep them for a week and, you know, things that thank you so much. So yeah, it was really a great trip quick, but it was great. Um, so yeah, my, my husband got to see his friend. So it, it was, it was really a good trip. So I was happy, 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 happy. And I am happy. Um, yeah. So we got to, just have to hang out with my brother and sister and that that was that's always a great thing um because I am the only one that is not up there so um yeah they get to see each other often but I I don't get to see them that often so it's um it's really it was really good for me you know sometimes you have to just reset in your normal so you know when um they're my normal you know so yeah but I talk to them. Prob I talk to my brother probably every day. My sister, if not every day, every other day. So yeah. So uh, we have a really cool relationship. Um, my sister and my brother are two years apart, and my sister, she's ten years younger than me and uh, twelve years younger than my brother. So yeah. So it's a really weird dynamic. I'm like her mother and her sister kind of at the same time. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's, uh, and her and my brother, they have like this weird, crazy relationship. But, yeah. But I hope you guys had a lovely weekend. We are going to get to these positions. Um, so, our first position. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Teresa. So, it makes for a really kind of, mother uh, sister relationship which we are pretty close and we talk about everything so um, it makes you know when she feels like she's making mistakes she'll call me and you know the things she can't talk with my mom about she will talk to me about, with me about and so yeah oh yeah my Jerome yeah we just went we were supposed to leave on um, Thursday but as you guys know my car got hit so we weren't able to leave on Thursday, but we, we left on Friday and back today. So I've got work tomorrow and kids have school, but thank you, Mike Jerome. And thank you for your questions guys yesterday. Again, they were um, really great. Um, yes, Teresa, you didn't know. Yes. Oh my gosh. On Wednesday, um, my mom always uh, buys my nephew's clothes and, you know, things like that. And I was coming from her house on my way home and a guy swerved and hit me to try to avoid hitting the people in front of him. Yeah. Bang my pearl up. So, 
and figure out what they're going to do with Pearl. I'm hoping they give me Pearl back because I want Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. So I am waiting to see. Oh, that's okay. I was really hurt, hurt, hurt. Hey, Jory, but um, I'm okay. And my kids weren't in a car and, you know, everything is in place for me to get my car fixed. So hopefully they're able to fix it. And that is that. So hopefully I found out something. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, hey, Kenny. Um, no, Kenny. He didn't have any insurance, unfortunately. Um, so it is what it is. Yeah. Thank you, Tori. Yeah, I was okay. I was really okay. Just sad about my car. But that's okay. It's replaceable. But no, it's not replaceable because they're going to fix it. They're going to fix it. I just want to fix it. Yeah. Kenny, it was, uh, I forgot who was on here the other day. Um, oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. Um, trying to figure out who it was. Oh, yeah, my brother. Did I tell you my brother started? He started taking calls. Oh, my gosh, Kenny. I think last week on Monday. Hey, Owen. Okay, yeah. So he started taking, are you doing the um, email or are you doing the phone support? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Latifah. I, I didn't know, you know. So, yeah. Are you going to do the email, Kenny? Oh, yeah. So that's, are you doing the pay card or whatever? The pay card? Because that's what he's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you see they put a bunch of other positions up there? Um, they have several that they are hiring for now. Oh, yeah. It's the uh, unemployment pay card. That's what it is. When do you, are you starting training soon, Kenny? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Are you going to let somebody go or are you going to just do this, that in conjunction with? You know, you'll cook up you something in a minute. <laughs> Oh, you got to let something go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're not going to try to do your slacker, slacker role. But the good thing about Omni, um, oh, okay. Um, the good thing about Omni is, Kenny, they are, um, you know, if they finish one project, they will put you on a, another one. So they, they are good about that. And they're not really the micromanaging <laughs> they're the, not from what I know of them they're not really the micromanaging type now that's what I heard but, you know I'm not sure because I don't know but I don't think they're the micromanaging type yeah let me know let me know let me know okay guys so we are going to um Oh, okay, Angie. Oh, well, let us know how it goes. Yeah, they do pay every two weeks, uh, Future Doc Quinn. Voice Nation. I'm, I'm not familiar with that, but congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, I hope they reach back out to you, Karen. Usually they will if you weren't, um, if the, if you haven't, um, but I've never heard of them, but let us know how it goes. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, we heard about that, Kenny, um, last, I think last week. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, congratulations, Ramona. 
Latifah, you were supposed to email me. Email me and uh, two chicks with a side hustle at gmail.com. And I can see, um, I got somebody that you may can contact. Um, Carol, I'm just going to look at you like this. Look at the camera. Okay. <laughs> But Omni is, they, you know, they had a few positions on their, um, on their chat. I think you can, Kenny. I, that's what they told my brother. But you know, because it's ten ninety nine, it's not overtime. But they told my brother that um, you're welcome, Ramona, and congratulations, all of you who have gotten hired. If I didn't say that before, congratulations. Um, that's what they told my brother. So, but I'm not sure because, I mean, like I said, I don't work for them. And, you know, he is known to get stuff mixed up. But, you know, we will see. No, Kenny, he does not. This will be his second one. Um, but he doesn't work from home. He works, he works midnight at his regular job. So this is just in conjunction with. Yeah, yeah, it is the norm, you know, especially with this pandemic and people getting laid off and um, things like that. So, I, you know, and I've worked two jobs. I mean, I always have something to do, something else to do. That's just the way of life to me, you know, because nothing's guaranteed and you got to always, um, you know, make sure you have something to, you know, back yourself up. Um, on Omni, I'm, okay, so I'm not sure about the email um, support. Um, Tori, they're hiring for full and part time. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, Deborah. That that Kenny, can you give them the um, advice on the line bridges? <laughs> um, so, uh, Teresa, they pay between fourteen and seventeen. Yeah. So. Um, Kenny, can you expound on that? Expound on that uh, to help them out. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you, Kenny. Um, so, um, yeah, I think a lot of their jobs start out at uh, 14. And if you work more than 25 hours, Teresa, it goes up to 17. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. And they have like, um, three or four jobs, um, now for, um, Omni. So if you guys, um, if you guys are looking, oh, okay. He <laughs> said so they better hire you. Email me, Latifa, and I have somebody you may can reach out to. Hold on. Latifa, they have Marilyn on here. Oh, it's too long. They have Marilyn on there, Latifa. Yeah, they have Marilyn on here now. I just looked. So they do have it on there. Um, let me see. So you may want to try to apply again, Latifa. Because they had it on there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I will check them out. Okay. They have one that's paying between uh, 
13 and 16. And hold on, y'all. I'm trying to look. So they have somebody who pays between 13 and 16. They have one that pays $17 an hour, $17.10. And that's for a financial company. And then they have um, an email and phone support. And it pays between 14 and 16. So um, I can put the link there if you're looking for. I'm looking on their external site, Latifa. Here. So they're the jobs they have available. And they also are looking for a trainer. So if any of you guys have training experience, they're looking for a training facilitator. So if you guys want to apply, they're a great company. Um, they will keep you working. So check them out. They are beginner friendly. Um, um, enough shy. They have a position for phone and email support. I'm not sure um, what that entails. I just put the link there. Um, so if you want to check it out to see what they're actually talking about, you can. Um, again, Omni. Oh, okay. Um, again, Omni is a 1099 employee. You will have to pay for the background check. I think it is $19. Um, um, can, yeah, I think that is the... Um, I think that's the price for the background check and you will. And it is taking a while uh, for the backgrounds to come back. I think like two weeks. So thank you, Kenny. Yeah, it's $19. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. So um, they are, oh, it took yours four days. It took my brothers forever. So, um, all, you know, they pay on time. Um, what else did I want? And they are beginner friendly. So if you never... Um, okay. If you've never worked from home before, they will, um, they will, uh, accept you. So if they are beginner friendly, if you've never had any work from home experience, they will accept you for a uh, work. Okay. Okay. Tangie, you, I'm sure you'll hear something. They are pretty quick at hiring like a week, week and a half. Hello, Makai. Thank you for joining us. Um, um, Carol, do you have a um, uh, uh, email for Jay for Lionbridge? Well, they said by the 20th, I will wait a couple of days, Jay. It's just the 18th. So I will wait a couple of days. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you, Carol. Okay, guys, we're going to get to these chat positions. Um, we have three available today. Our first one is site um, staff chat host. And um, the company is site staff chat. And um, they are looking for a chat host. And um, what this chat, their impact, um, what their, uh, our chat hosts are, Oh, you got it, Bella. You got it. You got it. Probably going to hear tomorrow or sometime this week. Oh, okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, so uh, site, site staff chat is looking for a chat host. Um, 
the minimum candidates must possess these skills. You must type 60 to 75 word, words a minute in perfect punctuation, punctuation, grammar, and spelling. You must be able to carry on um, three to four conversations concurrently. You must have grade A problem solving, empathy driven work ethic, self discipline, um, dependable and flexible. Um, our chat hosts show up on time and every day for their shifts and can work many different times to give the customers the best experience. You must be a team player. Um, we work remotely, but we're very close and count on each other for assistance. Um, ability to chat with people in another language is a huge benefit, um, but not necessary. You have, must give each user a unique experience. And they are based in Denver, but they are hiring all over the U.S. So if you're looking for a chat positions, check out site staff chat. Um, check them out. Our next company is Kraken and Kraken is looking for a data analyst. Oh, I would love this job. So this is a fully remote position and they will consider applicants based in North America, South America, and Europe. So if you are abroad and you're listening, and if you're in South America or Europe and you're a data analyst, check them out. <coughs> so check them out. Um, we are looking for data analysts who will apply the key role in driving decision making and building cutting edge products at Kraken. You will transform large data sets from complex systems and generate actionable insights and share the results with stakeholders. Um, I love data analyst work, y'all. <laughs> um, conduct data analysis and generate actual, actionable insights. Communicate key results with self-service tools. Um, with dashboards and analytical tools. I love dashboards. Um, develop and automate reporting of key performance indicators and of various Kraken products. Partner with product managers to design experiments to test hypotheses. Um, collaborate with the engineering team and relevant stakeholders. Um, to build key data sets and data pipelines using Python and ETL frameworks, be a data evangelist and help Kraken improve its uh, products and services. Um, three years of, you must have three years experience in the data analytics field, advanced knowledge of SQL scripting languages and data concept, a consistent track record of performing data analysis using uh, Python or JavaScript um, or experience with programming languages such as um, Java, Scala, and Golang. Um, strong ability to understanding a statistical concept, uh, experience with BI software such as Superset, Tableau, experience with big data tools such as Hadoop, Presto, Spark, Druid, or Druid, familiar with data warehouse development, versatility and willingness to learn new technologies, and ability to communicate clearly. Um, so you need to have familiar, familiarity with cryptocurrency ecosystems and a BA or MS in mathematics, information system, computer science, business analytics, data science. Oh, I would love that job. So <laughs> um, if you are a experienced data analyst and you want to work for Kraken, check them out. I would love that job because it does everything that I like to do. So check them out. Um, and our last position, do I have it up here? I'm gonna have to get it, y'all. I forgot it. Hold on. Is with Kelly Connect. <laughs> I know, I can't, Teresa. I cannot, I wish I could, but um, I cannot, I have, other responsibilities. So I have to stay where I'm at for right now. I've got like mm, maybe three more years to before I can look for other places, but I really don't want to look for other places to work, just to be honest with you guys. 
Oh, I'm gonna need you to stop kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop kidding. Okay, guys, in our last position is Kelly Connect. <laughs> Kelly Connect is looking for a technical chat support specialist. Um, you must have a private workspace with a locked door and a permanent residence, quiet background, secure workspace, free from cell phones and video devices, arrangements for dependent and other care obligations, um, paid training, and they have increased their pay. So paid training is at $13.50, um, increased to $15 after successful nesting. Um, that's roughly five weeks of employment. So benefits offered after 90 days of employment. You get paid holidays after 90 days of employment. And 99% of their promotions are, are from within. You'll interact with um, up to three customers at a time using various media channels. Those channels may include um, inbound calls, chat, or outbound calls. I th this is the chat position. So I think you'll just be doing chat. Um, you'll be locating music apps and other devices, uh, other various devices, billing issues, fraud management, product feature inquiries, resolving username and password difficulties, troubleshooting emails, navigating customers through various app data sharing and synchronization and troubleshooting, verifying proper hardware and software setup. You must be able to work between second, second shift between 1 a.m p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You must be able to work in a fast-paced environment, familiar with iOS or Mac OS, so you know you will be. Hello, hola. Um, <laughs> um, and you need six months of customer service experience, um, um, 18 years or older, legal to work in the U.S. and high-speed internet service, and they will provide you with the equipment. Yeah, Kenny, we didn't have time to look today. Oh, you're from Mexico. Como estas? Hey, Eris. Como estas, Aileen? Any questions about these positions? Hey, Lena. Oh, God. Yeah, I should. I mean, Kenny, we saw a few, but not a lot. Oh, no subscriber, thank you so much. Gracias, gracias. I need to get my husband in here because he can. Oh, you hate stressful jobs, yeah. I think all jobs are stressful at some point. My job is the most laid back job, Bella. My brick and mortar job is the most laid back job ever. But this year it has been stressful. It has been very stressful. I'm not very stressful, but um, with the change in um, the school and having to figure out alternative methods to teach the children, it, it has been kind of crazy. So, yeah. Yes, Kenny, he will. He will. Um, and we're going to do it back um, in December. Um, yeah, it is crazy, Bella. But I think we have a handle on it now. But um, August, September, and it has been crazy. Um, yeah, Kenny, um, he's been doing taxes for over 20 years. So he'll be back in December. Um, <laughs> so, uh, he will, he will, will go over that. We will talk in depth about, um, 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 what to write off as a 1099 employee. And he will go over some tax codes and things like that. And he will offer his services for preparation. Um, so, um, for those of you who want to, um, <laughs> uh, for those of you who want to uh, use him, he is very good. Uh, Kenny, he's a great educator. 
as far as tax codes and things like that. He's not like a big box. He um, deals with your uh, return personally. So, hey, Deidre, I'll have Carol post them again. Um, so he's really great. He's really great. And he's been doing it for over uh, 20 years, like I said. And um, he's really knowledgeable and he really studies the um, tax code. And he's a networking guy too, Kenny. So yeah, he's an IT also. So we have that in common also. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah so yeah Kenny so um, he'll be back in December and I'll try to give you guys like a month in advance um, so he can um, so he can um, make sure that you know all you guys are on and we are probably will do a long live that day so you guys come with your questions and be prepared and he's going to be prepared um, to answer. And like I told um, everybody earlier, he, um, we will probably do some type of promotion or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we'll probably do some type of promotion um, for, uh, you know, if you want to get his tax preparation services, um, We'll do some type of promotion so you can get a percentage off or whatever um, that we, we kind of figure out. So um, I, and I, like I told you guys, I'm not a tax professional. That is why I brought bought him on uh, to the channel, because I don't want to tell you all the wrong thing. And I don't I would like someone who is very knowledgeable to give you the information. So, yeah. Yeah. Latifa, I don't think my brother, um, he did the exam and he makes a pretty well, a pretty good penny working Lion Bridge every month. He does. He makes a, enough to pay a car note. So yeah, <laughs> it's too much for you. But... Okay. Um hold on. Uh so hold hold on. Uh I'm not, I want to call my husband in here, but um, he, um, he, um, no, yes. hold on, let me, go have to, my son is taking Japanese, so he has my translate all messed up, y'all. Um, Is it Portuguese? No, translate from. Yes. Um, hold on. I'm not sure. She has her for ferret. You have a ferret? Oh, she's typing in Spanish, y'all. So I am. I am, hold on, I was trying to do Google Translate. <laughs> I was trying to do Google Translate. It's not Portuguese, Spanish, though. So. Um, it won't let me. Yeah. It, yeah, I agree, Kenny. It is just long-winded, and you have to, um, you have to uh, just take your time. Oh, you lost your, oh, oh, you're lost. Okay. Um, so Aileen, we post work from home jobs. So if you are, um, if you are looking for work from home jobs, um, oh, she had something. Oh, thank you, Aileen. Thank you so much for translating because I was lost. I know un poco espanol. Hey, DT.
So Aileen, I am TNG. Carol is in the comments. Um, we post work at home jobs, side gigs, and side hustles. That is what we do on our channel. Tonight, we, um, we, we are on live to help people who want to start working from home and just exchange information um, for people who um, currently are working from home or um, are um, looking to work from home. So, yeah. So we do this every Sunday. And we basically have a transfer of knowledge between everyone on the channel and Carol and myself. Um, we try to educate you on working from home, things you can do. Um, we try to cover all facets of working from home. Um, yesterday we talked about tax laws and things like that. Oh, okay. Okay, Karen, let us know how it goes. Oh, okay, Lourdes, we did have um, three positions that were non-phone today. I will have Carol repost the um, positions that we talked about today. Um, Carol, can you repost them for me? Any more questions? You're welcome, Lourdes. I'm not sure. Now, Bella, I know the one that my brother does. He has his Instagram. So I don't know if... Um, you have, and he does have an Instagram account, so I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Hey, Jonette, um, check out Omni. They are a good company um, to work for. They hire beginner-friendly people who have never worked from home before. It is hands-on training, so you can check them out. I will post there. And we do have a beginner-friendly video, Jonette, that will help you. Um. Lena, I think it's ads that appear on different social media or it's searches, searches. You're welcome, Jonette. Try and I'll have Carol post a beginner friendly video. It answers a lot of questions regarding work from home. Uh, we give you eight companies that will hire you um, with little to no work from home experience. So um, check that out. Um, Eris, I would say no. I would say no. But that doesn't mean, you know, that you can't handle it. Um, I just, for me, I would say no. But if you feel like you can handle it and it will be something you're interested in, I would say go for it. But um, I think they will hire you with no work from home experience as long as you have some type of... Um, tech support, not tech support, customer service experience.
Any more questions? Thank you. Um, all gen selection. You know what I um, would suggest y'all is y'all find out when they put the shifts up. Um, and then you can um, maybe uh, stalk it then. Maybe you can reach out to somebody or um, something like that. Oh, accounts payable. Um, yes, Jonette, you can. We preach multiple streams of income on our channel. So um, we talk about different jobs. You can work with Omni and uh, a lot of the... Um, beginner friendly jobs. They have some clients that you can set your own hours. And we really promote that if you're looking to um, um, work two jobs. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Stalking hours at Wish. Yes. Yes. Stalking. Teresa, who did you work for at West? Um. Um, I was looking for something. I'm gonna forget. Darn. Yeah. Uh, um. Yes, I remember those days. Yeah, and I will say this: uh, future dot queen. I'll do okay. Um, with. A lot direct response. A lot. Um, hey, uh, a lot of the work at home companies are not necessarily as organized as brick and mortar. Um, it just depends on the company, but you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Um, yeah, a lot of it. And I will tell you guys that about Omni. They're not the most organized company. But they pay on time. Oh, yeah. Direct response with the captions. <laughs> I worked for direct response. Um, who else? Um, Virgin Mobile. Um, what is it? Shop NBC. Shop NBC and Virgin Mobile were my favorite. I just worked direct response because it was 24 hours a day. And I had babies, so that was it. And Jonette, we have a blog in which we post uh, work at home positions, www.twochickswithasidehustle.com. We also post them on our Facebook uh, page at Two Chicks with a Side Hustle. And we have a Facebook group called uh, Kiss That Cubicle Goodbye. So we post them and in, in on Instagram, Two Chicks with a Side Hustle. So we post different work from home jobs every day. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't do two weeks with non patron Yeah, yeah. I understand. You're welcome, Jonah. I understand, Karen. Now, I will say this. Omni is unpaid training. A lot of the 1099 positions do not pay for training. They don't pay for training. Now, if you want to get paid for training, a lot of the times you have to do the employee positions, meaning that you are an employee of the company like the Alarica um, Lands In was another one that was hiring part time. A lot of the 1099 positions are unpaid training. So, um, if you cannot afford or <clears throat> you do not want to uh, do unplayed training, then I would suggest you not do 1099. But that's just that's the way it goes. Um, back in the day when we started at West, it was self-paced training. So you um, were reading and it wasn't where people were telling you how to do stuff. You had to read and take um, take exams. And if you passed, then you got to get jump on the calls and there was no training. You just had to remember what you learned <laughs> during the exam. And um, yeah, so they've gotten better with the training. But you, well, back in the day when we started, 
It was not any training. It was all self-paced, even with live ops and those companies like that. It was all self-paced. You basically just read and you, when you got on the phones, you had to either sink or swim. You know, they give you time to get up to speed and they did have people monitoring you to help you, but it was not what what they do today. It was really not. It was really not. And so, you know, and it was unpaid training. But the beauty of the self-paced training is that you can finish it in one day or if you knew somebody who did the training before you, then they had the answer. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it, it has grown from um, a lot. The work from home has grown a lot since Carol and I started. And uh, Teresa, she has been on the journey, too. So, uh, yeah, it, it was it was um, it was kind of difficult. But at the same time, I think it was more relaxed than it is now. Way more relaxed. So, yeah. Any more questions? And if you guys have um, subscribed, try to uh, join our um, um, Facebook group. Um, then it has been a whirlwind. So uh, we have been inundated um, with people who want to join. So uh, give us a moment and we, we will try to get those down. We have been inundated with uh, people who wants to join. So um, please just bear with us again. It's Carol and myself and um, we just got moderators on Facebook, so um, I mean on YouTube. So um, we're trying to get it together. We're trying to get it together. Any more questions? Yeah, there are many beginner friendly positions that are. Questions? Okay. To Lion Bridge. Yeah, Lena, it is a, now, and I'll tell everybody this about Lion Bridge. Lion Bridge is a good side hustle. It is not to, meant to be a sole source of income. It is a great side hustle for extra money um, because you want to. Um, um, want to make extra money on the side. Um, it's a great side hustle. It will help you, you know, do different things. <clears throat> um, um, as far as if you're trying to pay down debt and things like that. So it's a great side hustle and it's very flexible. So it's not, um, something that you can make a living off of it. Hey, the Faith Show. Welcome. Welcome to our channel. I am Tangi. Carol is in the comments. Um, we're two chicks with the side hustle on this channel. Um, we post work at home jobs, side gig, side hustles. We do these lives to help people get started on their work from home journey, or we share hot jobs. We like to educate people on um, 
um, how to start working from home, what you need to do. We give you tips and strategies on things you can do to work from home. We try to, um, um, you know, educate you. So anything else? <laughs> So, you're welcome. And today we talked about three companies um, that hire non-phone work. Yeah. So check us out. We have a blog, Two Chicks with a Side Hustle at Gmail. I'm sorry, Two Chicks with a Side Hustle dot com. Kenny and you. Um, do tell her to watch out for those scams because they are prominent. Yeah. Um, some platforms calls for a home phone. Some calls call for a USB headset. I don't have mine readily available. Oh, yes, I do. Um, this is a USB headset. Um, it has a microphone, too. And... Mine is wireless because who I work for does not require mine to be wired. Um, yeah. So um, you can check that out and you can get those on Amazon or um, walmart.com, um, Best Buy, any electronic store. No, you can get... I recommend um, the Logitech H390. You can get those at Walmart or Target for about um, 20 bucks. They start off at 20 bucks. Um, hold on. I cannot catch this person. Um. Yes, they are. They are truly noise canceling. Hello, Matthew. All the ones you have aren't. Yeah, Logitech are noise canceling. And I, um, I have only used Logitech, so those are the only ones that I can um, speak on. Yeah, so... And I, that's the only kind of I've ever used. Yep. Yep. So, yep. any more questions? Thank you, uh, Lena. And they aren't very expensive. The wireless pair are a little more expensive, but again, most companies require you to use the wired ones. And um, you can get between twenty and twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you have a set. And if you don't, um, if you don't um, have money to buy, wait, buy um, any in the back of the truck, in the back of the van, I think. Yeah. Um, um, I'm sorry, y'all. My son interrupted me. Um. Um, they're, they're very inexpensive. Oh, I was going to say, if you have a, a gaming headset, they work just as well. Hey, Lamonte, um, let me see if I can find them. Carol, do you have them still? Hanging on the key thing, I think. If not, I'll, you have to wait. Um, hold on, Lamonte. Let me see. Can I get them for you? Um, give me one second. Okay. Do you see them? Oh, Carol's posting them. 
Okay, um, what's the jump? What's the jump? I guess we have to press it twice. Oh, okay. Even though they they do they have the um the one they have the little button on it. You welcome. They have the little button on it usually to cancel the noise or to mute. But if you have the little thing on there, um, oh, moose canceling headphones. Oh, okay. I've never heard of those, Kenny. I have to look it up. Moose. <laughs> it works in the forest here. I'm about to see, uh, Teresa, how much they are. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. <laughs> Good news. Oh, yeah. Well, not Kenny. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't look at Moose. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I will look, but uh, they may be out of my price range because, um, yeah, oh, yeah, Kenny, way out of my price range, way out, way out, way out of my price range, yeah, yeah. No, they do have some. They do, Kenny. Gear moose. Okay, Kenny, you're right. They that's just the website. It's just the website. But I'm gonna look it up if you say it, cause I'm 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 really nosy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, my brother just got these. Hold on, let me see if I can find them. Um. I don't know what they are. Um, I think these are it. Hold on. They are gaming, but they are. Oh, here they go. I wouldn't buy them, though, because I'm just not. I'm cheap. Yeah. I am really cheap. So. He has, no, 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 no. he bought a great pair. Yeah, $24.99, that's my limit. Yeah, my brother has, he bought a Logitech where my mom bought them. And uh, they're not wireless, they're wired, but... I think this is there's something like these, but um, I'm not spending sixty six dollars on um, on any headsets. I'm just not gonna do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Yeah, direct interactions isn't really like that. I will say that they are not a micromanaged type company, so. Um, I would check them out if you're looking for a little um, flexibility. Okay. Any more questions? Well, guys, I am going to get off here. At work in the morning. So thank you guys for joining us. I really appreciate it. But join us on Wednesday when we will Go back to doing our states. Um, if you want your states featured in our Wednesday live, please drop them in the chat. On Wednesdays, um, we do feature a state. Um, so if you would like your um, um, state fe uh, featured, please, 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 Kenny, <laughs> uh, please drop it in the chat. Also, um, uh, guys, please, <clears throat> oh, you're welcome, Jonette. Um, also, um, if you want to enter our 25K giveaway, 
Um, um, please, please, please. Um, we are doing an all things work from home giveaway. The way you enter our 25K giveaway is that number one, you subscribe to our channel. Number two, you take one of our YouTube videos. It does not matter which one and share it on your social media with your friends, with your family. Come back to this video and type I shared and we will enter you into the drawing. Um, with our all things work from home giveaway, we're giving away things like headsets, um, keyboards, mouse, mouse pads, things like that. Um, also, um, we last time we gave away uh, two monitors. We're going to replace those two monitors and we're going to give away one desktop and one laptop. So, um, <laughs> um Check those out. These people are really ridiculous tonight. They really are. Um, so anyway, um, if you want to be entered into the drawing, uh, please do that. Thank you guys so much as always for your support. I know. I know, Kenny. They, they are something else. They are something else. But they think they're going to get a rise out of us. And, I, you know, I, I got better sense than that. So, yeah. They're really playing today. They don't have anything else to do, and I, I'm not giving them nothing to do either. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Anyway, we will see you guys on Wednesday, if not before then, to give you some hot jobs. Thank you guys for supporting us and sharing. Thank you guys for sharing your knowledge. <laughs> um, we really appreciate it. Have a great evening. Um, see you guys later. Bye bye.